so today we're going to be using our Intune 3.0 retrofit adapter to install an Intune 3.0 navigation unit into a 2016 Forerunner. And so what this will do is it will install the uh, CarPlay Android Auto compatible Toyota hit unit into an older model vehicle. It's a plug and play install where you just remove the old head unit and then reconnect the new one with our wiring adapters. And so this is the, the Intune 3.0 retrofit adapter. And so it has the connections for the vehicle on this side. So this will plug into the Forerunner's wiring that's existing. And then uh, this is the connections for the new head unit for the Intune 3.0 head unit. Now some models won't have this connector because this is for the navigation. Um, so if the Intune 3.0 unit doesn't have navigation, you won't have that connector. And then this connection right here is the USB adapter. And so this will plug into your existing USB connection and then this plugs into the back of the Intune 3.0. And that just allows you to plug in a phone to the existing port in the console. You will need that USB adapter if you're planning to use CarPlay because most of these Intune 3.0 head units don't have the ability to do wireless CarPlay. There, there are some that they're more recently introducing that have the wireless CarPlay features, but in general, it's it would be best to have the USB adapter. So the first thing that we're doing here is we're going to remove the fascia that goes around the Forerunner head unit. And this process will be a little different for different vehicles, but in this case, you uh, disconnect the AC controls to expose the bolts that are below the head unit. Then we'll remove those bolts. Now that we've got the bolts out, just pull the head unit from the top and the bottom and it will slide out. Now we're going to go about removing all the plugs from the back. And so just disconnect everything um, that's connected to that whole box. There's the back of the unit. Yep. Looks like a Toyota radio. Yep. <laughs> Now here you can see the side by side of the two head units that we've got. The left head unit is the one that we've removed from the Forerunner, and then the one on the right is the Intune 3.0 head unit that we're going to install. And you can you can see that in this case the mounting brackets are all the same, and so it's a direct fit. It it slides right in. I will mention that there is a uh, coaxial cable that goes between the navigation unit that sits below the Intune 3 head unit and the head unit itself. Um, this is a cable that's typically included when you buy the navigation unit, but if you don't have it, we'll need to get that part from Toyota. I can give you the part number if you email us about it. Um, it's readily available. I think it costs about 60 bucks. Another thing I'll point out is that in older models, in the Intune 2 models, they included the navigation in the head unit itself. Um, it's integrated into the unit and so it doesn't have a separate box. Usually there's a separate box for a Sirius XM, like you can see is is on the unit that we've removed um, that sits below the head unit, but the Intune 3.0 head units have that navigation box that sits below the head unit. And this is the box um, that the additional part of the adapter will connect to if you buy the navigation adapter. So now connecting this unit is just as simple as removing the old one and plugging the adapter into both ends. It's a plug and play adapter. Um, you'll notice that we're using an older version of the USB cable. Um, we initially sold this kit with a uh, inline USB cable. Um, in this example, we've used the older cable but we've since upgraded that to, to a 
a new design. And so we'll connect the adapter to the truck first and just connect each of the connectors to um, the existing connectors in the truck. One thing to note here is that the two 28 pin connectors, it's the outside two connectors in that white row of connectors on the back and those two connectors are identical. So if you switch them, the head unit just won't turn on. It doesn't cause any damage. We're doing it correctly here where the connector with more wires, that will connect next to the black connector on the back. If you don't have navigation, you won't have the second connector and you won't have anything connected to the one that you see on the far left of this picture. Once everything's connected, we can just slide the head unit back in and snap it back into place. Yeah, let's turn around and see what it does. That'll be it. Another thing I wanted to mention is that um, the JBL system is an issue. If you have a JBL vehicle, we don't recommend installing a non-JBL unit in your vehicle. So we only do the, um, or generally we only do the non-JBL to non-JBL vehicles or a JBL into and unit into a JBL vehicle and when you do use a JBL vehicle there are some other complications and so you may want to email us about that so that we can ensure that it will work properly with what you're trying to do. So the bottom line is that this adapter is a great way to maintain the clean OEM look with a OEM head unit but add the features of CarPlay and Android Auto and uh, more of the modern setup that you get with a new head unit to an older model Toyota vehicle that has the Intune 2 unit installed. If you decide you would like to install an aftermarket head unit or if you're installing new speakers in your Toyota. We have speaker adapters available for all models up to the 2023 model year. So if you need speaker adapters or if you'd like plug and play adapters for Pioneer, Sony, or Toto head units or any other wiring, please contact us. I also recommend you check out our wiring database page which has vehicle specific wiring for every model of Toyota and that's at autoharnesshouse.com slash mycar. Hope you enjoyed watching our video today. Please like and subscribe. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions or check out our website at autoharnesshouse.com.